Welcome back. Welcome back. I hold on. I think they might have lowered the difficulty. <laughs> they did. This was this was 70 the first time. They totally lowered <laughs> the difficulty. That's it's funny. Like, All right. Uh, can I admit something to you? Yeah. I wasn't using swallow the entire time we were. Are doing... you kidding me? <laughs> that might have been why we were doing so terribly, is because I forgot Maybe. that swallow exists. I I think also the dungeon layout is randomized each time because this is different. Huh. That might be true. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, like I was gonna say last episode, uh, if I were to make a dang romp game, the game would be less segregated into different sort of gameplay styles, and like when you were going around like investigating things or just like naturally like talking to people you'd always have the op option sometimes like if they said something that you knew was wrong to refute somebody's claim like huh like you'd always just have the option to do that and whether or not it would be like oh hey you gained a you gained like uh like this person's favor because you pointed out this other person's lie uh or whether it'd be like oh they don't like you now because you pointed out their lie. like it would be more interesting relationships dynamics with that and I think it would lend more like freedom to the player. Yeah. Like, choosing when to speak. I, I think that's really cool. And not that there's anything, I think there's nothing wrong with what Dangarampa Well, is. there's actually, well. Well, yeah, but like. There's quite a lot just, of wrong things. Well, no, 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 but I, I feel like that element of Dangarampa isn't really wrong. That's just never in the game it is, I think. Um. Like, this I, isn't I, really I just, the game where, like, you're supposed to build up relationships with people. True, um, but, like, there's there's definitely, like, they want you to like the characters and get to know them better and stuff. And I think if you combine the sort of reputation thing with the, like, new Danganronpa 2 consent thing, um, you could have an interesting sort of, like, Danganronpa-styled character interaction, like, mechanic. Mm -hmm. Well, that I, I feel like I, they don't really take advantage of. I wonder if they do that in the third game. Because I, I do know. not know. I've actually remained surprisingly spoiler-free for that game. Um, yeah, I, I have still gotten some spoiled for me, um, but I'm like, I, it's not it's not a thing like major, you know. I haven't gotten anything spoiled for me yet. Um, you are lucky. Which is cool. Um, I mean, I, I know like a couple of the characters vaguely. Yeah, I know that everybody stopped fawning over Nagito in favor of some weird like other dude, mm -hmm. but I I don't see the appeal yet. Yeah, well, it's, uh, yeah, but also, like, it's also going to be, like, partially personality, and, you know, we don't know anything I'm, about it. Yeah. I, I am, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hardcore Nagito simp. I, uh, I, I think he's stupid, and I love him so much. I have cool indifference. Uh, uh, but I definitely, like, no, I'm a simp. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he's a terribly written character with a lot of interesting potential for his character. Because, yeah. like, you can literally take Nagito and make him think whatever about whatever, and it won't change his character. Because his entire character is just like, ah, everybody has to suffer for good to happen, but I'm on the side of good the whole time. And so, like, he literally is of both opinions about everything. He doesn't have a stance. I think he just <laughs> loves the ultimates is the issue. He's just a fanboy who's so happy to be here. <laughs> like, why don't you all, like, talk to me before you kill people so I can make it more interesting? <laughs> He's because awful. that's obviously what you care about. And they're like, we just don't want to die. Like, Yeah. None of us want to, like, kill people except for the ones who do, which is half of them. <laughs> yeah, which is most of them. <laughs> yeah. Every single one of those kids is just like, Oh, murder school! All right. All right. Awesome. Let's uh, let's go. Crack knuckles. Go up here. I would crack my knuckles, but uh, I have to grip this controller firmly yeah. with my hands. Uh, but yeah, no, that would I, I would I would I would make the game less segregated. I would uh, I would uh, I would probably let me see what's I'd have less mini games, but there would still be mini games. Oh they would just God. be less frequent and annoying and, and also like <laughs> and have them blend better like it's yeah. not like they're not like ridiculous where it's like <laughs> spell the word knife yeah I, I i think there definitely would probably be like a mini game or something where it's like you've been in this place before uh, and, and like what's different about the area now like mm. it, like a, like a spot the differences thing but like with your memory um yeah. so it sort of advises you to like 
memorize the layout and like makeup of each area you go to um like like mm -hmm. you're gathering clues and so then when you go in there you're like wait something's wrong yeah careful in this room because i'm not gonna, I'm gonna die. oh i'm dead i was literally just about to say i, I might die soon and then i immediately died oh uh, anyways you were saying uh yeah no there'd be more of an incentive to like care, care about the environments if you're like if you knew some point at some point you might come back and have to like point out the difference uh and like gather evidence that way um yeah because i don't i feel like i i felt for like a half of dangarapa really 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 um like just sort of calm and going about stuff until like stuff really stuck you can, like you can tell when a murder is about to happen yeah the, the, and, and I, like there's, there's i feel really like that's good. i feel like that's not good though well that's that's true but i feel like there's really well done, like, even in the parts where you don't know a murder is about to happen, there's really good foreshadowing. That's one thing Danganronpa is great at, is foreshadowing. No, there's really good foreshadowing. It's just, like, there's, like, a couple days where, like, nothing happens, and then True. you'll be like, oh, a murder's coming up, because there's all sorts of, like, weird details. Yeah. Like, the very first like, trial... Cool will give everyone a motive. Well, yeah, and also, like, the very first trial we went through, we were in that room and I was like, oh, they made like a weird note about the floorboards. That's definitely going to come up later, which means a murder is about to happen. Yeah. Well, like, and it, I was it's right. Danganronpa, so like, you kind of get into it knowing what you're getting into, sort of, if that makes any sense. Like, you're like, oh, okay, these kids are going to kill each other in some sort of fashion. Right. Um, I just mean like, like the timing around it. Yeah, I, I, I think the best the best example of like lead up to a murder is actually not like the immediate lead up to a murder but just like them being like oh wow i guess you're not the ultimate lucky student because you got chosen to clean that and like in that hindsight, was very good that was well done that was really really well done that was really well done because i didn't i wasn't expect like we saw in the moment like oh shit yeah he was the one that was chosen to clean yeah and, oh and sorry what, spoilers what, one, for dangarampa too yeah, one one more uh, one more immediate. Uh, hey, catch up on our series, I'd and make. you wouldn't get spoilers. What one more immediate change I would make is um, less flashbacks, please, oh please, just show like God. a screenshot, no stupid sepia tone flashback. I'm so sick of flashbacks. And flashback, uh, is also, um, the stupid like repeating dialogue parts that also counts as flashback. Oh yeah, no, stop reiterating what's already been said. Like write characters better. Get better dialogue. I've, I've you know you've seen some of the stuff I've written. I've written better dialogue than Di Danganronpa before, and I could do right. it again. I don't know. I feel like as a, I feel like as a dungeon master, it's like making a video game. Like it's making like making a story video game where you also have to improvise stuff. Yeah. So in some ways it's harder, but in some ways it's also easier. Because I can have the freedom of making stuff on, up on the up on, up on the spot. Bite the purple dude! Bite, bite the purple dude! I can't attack this guy until you bite oh, him. Oh shit! Right. I mean, you could just you also become a mousy mouse. I don't want to be rat. That's fair. Macy, uh, um, these enemies remind you of you, except less evil. As in, they're less evil than you are. Macy's evil and adorable. Which honestly has goals. Yeah. Yeah. Except she's a pest to everybody around her, including me. Also goals. You're already a pest to me, though. Dude, that means so much. <laughs> like, thank you. What, um, was the, what was the Ibuki thing you were saying earlier? <laughs> I... <laughs> um... <laughs> it was like, oh, gosh, taking the midnight trim to anywhere. <laughs> I took the midnight train going anywhere. <laughs> oh my god. I I fucking love Abuki. <laughs> She's so stupid. I, I hate love her though. Cause I, I love her character, but she's an awful representation of like the ultimate musician. Yeah. I uh Ooh, boss time. Oh boy. Curious creature, it survived the dungeon. We shall feast upon its flesh. Oh shit! Oh my oh god! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Jesus, goodness. titty fucking hey, Christ! Hey, can, you, can you poison this guy? Do you think? 
I can, I can do my best. I'll try my best. No, oh, no. Oh, speak for yourself. Speak for yourself, motherfucker. Oh my god, this is a big ass boy. So tilted at the towers. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a stupid fan dub. I love it. <laughs> I mean, I say a stupid fan dub, but I, I assume that all fan dubs are stupid, but I haven't really watched many. Oh, oh yeah, no, the, the Spider Man one is one of my favorites, actually. Did they do a Spider Man uh, one? Yeah, they did a Spider Man PS4 fan dub. Oh boy. <laughs> I assume they're not the only, the only like channel to do fan dubs, right? No, but they're the only one that does it well. Oh, okay. Some, we so I, I saw some people out there, like like in my recommended, like doing a Gravity Falls fan dub after I watched the Sonic one, and I was like, wow, these aren't the same people. I wonder if they're any good. And they weren't. Oh, oof. <laughs> they they truly. All right, were try not to go into survival mode because okay, I guess I'll go into survival I'm mode instead. You said that as I died. Oh, cool. Oh fuck. Wait, do we get to do we have to go through the entire dungeon again? Yeah. I think maybe we're not strong enough for this dungeon yet. Nah, we're fine and we can do it. I'm this is two frames a second for me, dude. Yeah. Uh give me a sec. Hold on. Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> After we, like 30 minutes. Saved. We figured Apparently out that just getting to the portal. Yeah, we could just teleport here, which is awesome. Um, the game is kind of chugging, but you know what? We're gonna chug with it, we're, and, we're, and we're gonna we're gonna see if we can win. You know, we're gonna see if we can fight through this. We're gonna we'll see, see if we can we can soldier on through my, to my, the other side. My dog Macy wants to fight too. She's a growler. She been all poop. I don't know why. She been I don't know why. She should be super happy. We're winning! Oh my god! Ibuki writes her name with three eyes, and they're like, "What the?" <laughs> you know, this might be actually the right boss for like the Ranger Bard, because I think getting <laughs> well, near this, I think getting near the skies. I can at nearly max HP. Yeah, well, I suck, so I think I'm gonna. Also, these enemies are poison themed, and you don't have poison. What do you mean? I, of course, I have poison. Never mind. I don't I mean, have poison. <laughs> just the sounds of ineffectual dinking. Uh, name this episode Ineffectual Dinking. Ineffectual Dinking. I would if I could pan off screen to write that down. Oh, it's I okay. I'll remember. I'll just, ineffectual dinkage. I'll just remember the Ineffectual Dinking. Ow. Fuck this bar. This boss hurts. Ow. Everything hurts. Ow. You're playing as a rat and like walking up to him. Well, whatever, dude. Fucking if you played as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a guard boy, as a, as a chunky fella. Weren't you the one that was like, no, I want to stay a rat forever? In episode one, sure. It was a bit. It was funny. What you do have poison. Yeah, of course I have poison. There, I think and there's a difference the between poison and dark. Oh, rats are dark. And the okay. rat is an elder horror, so yeah, of course. There is nothing more terrifying than the rat. Nah. Behold my power. Oh, good, an email. Uh, don't die. Uh, don't die. What, did you- are you checking your email right now? No, i dead. Now I'm back. I'm not checking my food. email. I, I thought you just said, oh good, an email. Yeah, I did, but I wasn't checking my email. Okay. Well, we got a bunch of coinage. Oh, you hell want to yeah. upgrade your rat? No. <gasps> There's clean. a chunk of something. I actually might want to upgrade my rat. What the hell is that? This is a fragment of a, an ancient Rubik's cube. <laughs> you become a cube solver in this game. You'll, you'll never solve it. it. There's, we didn't make it that way. It's part What's of happening? the magical orb. Oh, creature. Okay. Come not between the calamity and its gem. I missed the old voice. Wait, empty eyes. We know you. You are ours. Oh. Our little snuggaboo. A little scrungle. It knows not what it is. Oh, but we know, don't we? We know. We know. Okay. Oh, so like we like belong to an outer shore? We both know what we know. 
like another molten soul. Oh, that's cool. We leveled up our boy. I've never seen Hamilton. You, I've really got to show you Hamilton sometime. You don't. But I mean, you can. Yeah, it's fun, cool. man. I'm sure it is. Oh yeah, I believe you. I'm not lying at all. Never would I lie. <laughs> Do we have an ability as a as a dude? I don't think so. Are you kidding me? It's this dork again. <laughs> oh, he's doing the Danganronpa thing where his face is just yeah. vibrating. <laughs> yeah. Just a bit winded one sec. <laughs> okay. Don't you think you can, don't you think you can fool me? I know you're the hollow eyes loser who escaped the basement with my HR t I mean wand. <laughs> Thief! You've, expected, you've officially gone from su suspect to stu fugitive! Wow, my voice uh, words are... Are we finally <laughs> gonna kick his butt? I'm the... I mean, <laughs> I'm the... I'm the HRM one one's rightful gift D. Now give it... Whoo, whoo, over. And the gem shard. Haha, uh, no. Haha, <laughs> haha, no. Uh, no. 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 You want to do this the hard way, huh? What the? Quit messing around. Wait. What? what? Do we control the, the dungeon? You don't have the technique nor the pizzazz to require to properly wield the wand. Okay. You've got an X in the back of your head. Wait, what? You've got like, like a scar in the back of your head on your character. Oh, <laughs> I was stitched together apparently. Oh, yeah. It's weird. You're not a certified wizard. You're not a wizard, Harry. And you're well, you're a, bye. You're a bald boy. <laughs> There's not a hair on your body. Ah, oh, that like voice. A precious little newborn baby. Like a little scrongle. That that voice really hurt my voice. Oh, what bravery! What courage! I can't believe that I had the guts to wait outside. That was nerve-wracking. I don't deserve my job. And also, we cleared out most of the goo off my castle. Good job, us. Yes. This is what a democracy is. Yes, I. Ah, no, you did it. Yes, I created the goo, and you, you get rid the of the goo. You got the gem shard. I. Indeed, I got the gem shard, all me, with my magical crown spear. I haven't felt this alive since breaking down the ingredients for fairy dust. <laughs> that is a drug. <laughs> that is a drug. <laughs> yeah, you're good at this. Why don't you try and get more gem shards? <laughs> good, good idea, Octavia. Nostromagus, whoever he is, will be pleased with our progress. <laughs> That's right. If you can find three gem shards and bring them to my lab, I should be able to harness their power to lo locate Nostromagus. You can? Oh, how grand. Nostromagus is going to need all the shards to confront the calamity. Anyway. <laughs> Most thrilling. Stranger, talk to Armanda down at the Round Tables Tavern. She will lower the western and eastern gates for you so that you may set forth and find more swords. Go now, the king commands it. And this is the Royal of Oratory, where we hide our royal shards. <laughs> oh, fuck. Babe, I'm gonna roll a shard. Next uh, time I have to like go in a hurry and be like, oh, sorry guys, I gotta drop a royal shard. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this chick? That's Armanda. Oh wait, no, she's not. No, nah, that's you. She's just a very buff lesbian. It's, it's gonna be you. I would kick butt for Armanda any day. She's my idol. Oh yeah. Good for I you. I have looping dialogue. Science, 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 mortality, uh, art. No, the gulf between man and rat is quite simple. <laughs> Being able to take a punch. This rat can take more punches than you can, Bilbo. Science. Morality part. Okay, I was I was hoping that something would happen when we turn into a rat, but it, nothing did. Stop. That is lame. Okay. 
They call me the Night Temporary. I think I'm gonna be replaced soon. Good for you, man. Okay, that means has oh a pumpkin boy. for a head. Why does he move his mouth like a Sir Pello animation? Hey there. Bah, this old dome. I got this one messing around in the east, one of my favorite excursions. Damn mages and their trickeries. Okay. Well. Hi, Tiny. Okay. <laughs> He's just a little guy. Well, next time on Up Gamers, we'll talk to Armanda. Yeah. You can tell she's important because she has better armor and is bigger. Yeah. <laughs> cool. You, you were gonna say something? Well, the episode's over now, so. It's not. Oh, okay. Uh, I was just about to say, yeah, no, I judge everyone's importance by their size. <laughs> yeah, you sure do. It's driven a wedge between our relationship. Next, someone up, gamers. Next.